I'm alive. What is up you guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm actually gonna be doing a little rap video just because, I don't know, I just feel like talking and I just feel like I want to connect more with you guys and let you guys know how my life has been and just a little update, you know? I just wanted to keep you guys updated on why I haven't really been uploading. So the reason why I haven't really been uploading is because I have no idea. <laughs> I'm just kidding. The reason why I haven't really been uploading is because I just felt unmotivated and I've been feeling pressure to upload, if that makes sense. And I don't want to make YouTube feel like it's a job when I'm only doing YouTube for entertainment, basically. You know, I love entertaining you guys. I love making you guys laugh. I love seeing your guys' comments, stuff like that. So I really enjoy doing that. But seeing YouTube as like, I need to upload, I need to upload, it's kind of hard for me. Like, I don't want to be on that mindset. That's why I haven't really been uploading like that. I've been feeling unmotivated and I've been feeling pressured like I need to upload. I'm trying my best, you know, I'm trying to think of different ideas to do, different uh, video, YouTube video ideas to do just because I want to do stuff differently. It's just that I don't have the money for those kind of videos that I want to do, but I'm trying my best to come up with that kind of money, you know. Also, I wanted to keep you guys updated on how I'm doing during the whole pandemic. I mean, I already lost my job while I wanted to lose. Well, so here's the thing, guys. Let me tell you guys. I was working at some clothing store, right? And then I didn't love that. I didn't like that job at all. So when the whole pandemic happened, I was able to leave that store because I was told I can't go back because of the whole COVID, the whole COVID thing that happened. And I took that as the chance that I should get out of that store because I've been trying to look for a new job. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna leave this job. And when this whole COVID thing ends, maybe in a few months, I'll get a new job. It didn't turn out as how I wanted to, but I'm like, I'm glad I left that place. But now I'm able to, I just don't like that I'm getting unemployment. I want to get a real job. So I'm stuck in going back to school or just continue this YouTube stuff. But so far YouTube is going well. I just don't know what path to take. And I'm for sure not going back to the clothing store because that was the worst ghetto store ever. And that's where I'm stuck at right now. And then I'm just stressing out on how to make my money and be able to upload at the same time. So it's kind of stressful. But I'm trying to get through this. So it's a, it's a long process, you know. I miss the gym, you know. That's what helped me release my stress. And I only have like one or two gyms open out here in my city. And it kind of sucks because it's like really crowded. And I don't want that for me. And I don't want to put myself in danger. I know some people are and I understand understand that if they're if you're really dedicated to the gym then you would go to the gym but I just think it's best for me to not go yet until more gyms open what else did I need to cover oh guys I have a new camera backpack I think I'm getting a new lens for this camera, the DSLR that you guys saw. I'm planning to start doing video shoots soon. I'm just trying to get my stuff together and trying to um, get YouTube and videography in the same, like try to that that you um you had schedule it the same so I'm not stressing on editing this video and I still have to do YouTube videos, you know, stuff like that. So I'm trying to get that through. And I got a gender reveal video shoot coming soon which is this week. I'm excited for that. I'm, I'm sure it's gonna come out perfect. I seen some ideas on it, so it's gonna be pretty good. And it's kind of tough with this whole pandemic going on. I don't know what to get myself into, you know? I feel like I'm limited by everything with video ideas. I feel like if this whole pandemic didn't happen, I would have done crazier stuff. You know, I would have gone to water parks, you know? I would have traveled, not far, far, but you know, I would have traveled somewhere, get some video ideas done. I have a whole list of ideas. Yeah, a um, whole list, whole list. Well, I, I crossed some out because I already did I guess. So I have some video ideas. I'm just shy. I don't know, I'm not shy, I just feel like it's a dumb video idea, but I shouldn't be thinking like that, you know? I should just upload them. And I'm pretty sure you guys will like them because I've done some video ideas that you guys enjoyed and I thought would be dumb, but you guys actually liked it. You guys showed appreciation on the videos and I love you guys for that. <laughs> so thank you guys so much. I'm gonna try my best to keep doing these videos. Make sure you guys are subscribed and turn on that bell to be notified when I do upload because I'm trying to upload as much as I can. It's just stressful for me, you know, trying to get the right setup. Like for me, I like, I feel like you guys are tired of this background setup. I don't know why, I just feel like you guys are, but I have nowhere else to be filming. The reason I don't want to be like filming outside is because I don't want the wind to be hearing or I don't want my dog 
dogs to be annoying and stopping me from doing my videos. Just stuff like that. Let me know if you guys want me to do a different setup because I know you guys are probably tired of this boring background setup of my computer in my wall. Me and my girlfriend already turned a year, so we did something really fun. For our one year anniversary, we had a photo shoot, so if you guys want to go look at the pictures, I'm going to show you guys a little sneak peek. This is something when we took. That's a little sneak peek, so if you guys want to see the pictures, um, my Instagram is going to be right here. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram. I'm kind of active on there now. We went to Ventura Beach, and we decided to try out this uh, seafood spot called... I forgot what it was called, but the food was really small and really expensive. I spent so much for food that we didn't even get full. And then I didn't know how to react because my girlfriend was still hungry. My girlfriend was still hungry, so I was like, oh, dang, where else should we go? You know, I don't want to take her to McDonald's. So I looked up on my phone. I found out I think it was like a four and a half star Mexican restaurant. And it was nice and it was definitely worth it. We did spend a lot of money, but it was definitely worth it. We ate better. I had some shrimp wrapped with bacon and a salad and it came with rice and beans. It was pretty good, their service was all right. They did take a while to come like ask us if we were ready to order or for, um, for them to bring our food, but overall it was really good. And then that actually made up for the seafood spot because that food was too little for us, you know. You know, us, me and Big Boy were here in the you ain't big boy over here, I gotta eat, you know? We were gonna go bike riding, but it got too late. Since this whole pandemic thing stopped us from what we actually had planned, I was just like, let's just go out to eat, but like have a good dinner. And luckily there was places open for dine-in, you know, but we had, to, we had to eat outside. But it was fine with me because the whole setup was nice. I took a picture of my beautiful girlfriend, look at this. Also guys, I've been feeling like, I haven't told anyone, I think I've only told my girlfriend, but I have been feeling like I don't want to do YouTube anymore just because of how much stress I've been having on. It's not really stress, it's just like so much going on with, I don't know how to say this, but um, it's just been a lot, you know, been, uh, you have people telling you, I get you want to do YouTube, but are they even paying you? Or like, you need to find a real job, you know, you need to go back to school. Stuff like that, like it kind of annoys me and I'm just, you know, I'm doing this because I love doing this, you know. I love entertaining you guys and I love getting positive feedback. This is something I enjoy doing, videography is something I love doing. You know, I love editing videos no matter if it takes me five, seven hours, that's every video that I always do. Usually it takes me about three to seven hours depending how long the video is and I actually enjoy doing it because I love the outcome of it. And I know the video comes out funny and I just love being um, entertaining and funny to you guys. It's something I always just enjoy doing. It's it's something fun, but people telling me, don't you think you need a real job to be getting money? You know, you're 20 years old already. You should be getting your life together and stuff like that. It just annoys me, you know, but I, I'm, I'm keeping strong and you know, I came this far for a reason and I'm gonna keep going. So I'm gonna stick with you guys and I'm gonna keep on growing with you guys because I know you guys support me. Everyone that's been subscribed since day one, I still remember the day I was in high school and um, people made fun of me, you know, um, they would laugh that I only had a hundred and something subscribers. They would tell me like, oh, those are all just bots, you know, those are all just fake accounts or I'm people, some friends would tell me like, oh, I made, I made multiple accounts just so I can, so you can have more subscribers and this and that. But now that I'm at 500 and almost 600 subscribers, I realized that I did come a long way and you know, I'm gonna continue on going and I'm gonna try to think of more YouTube video ideas so I can get them out there, you know? It's a little tough, you know, it's a little stressful. YouTubers don't really tell you how much work it is to put a video out there. It's not just pointing a camera, filming and then automatically upload it on YouTube. Like it takes so much time and it is stressful and it does drain you off. And it's just hard because I don't have, I feel like I don't have a creative mind, but I'm trying my best to think of stuff. And when I do, it's like, dang, I need this much money for this video idea, but I'm gonna try my best for you guys and I hope you guys do love this content that I'm putting out there for you guys. Thank you guys for supporting me and thank you for everything, all the love and support you guys been doing, all the shares, even on Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat, um, Instagram. I appreciate you guys if you're coming from there. It's been a long road, but it's time to go for 600, 600 subscribers on the way. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. I just wanted to update you guys on what I've been doing and why I haven't been uploading. 
I'm trying to be more consistent. I'm trying to upload more. I know I always tell you guys this and then I end up ghosting you guys, but I'm serious. I'm trying to upload more. I just don't want to upload nothing boring. I'm trying to go out and, you know, figure stuff out, you know. I'm trying to go out and, like, go on adventures and stuff like that. If you guys do have any video ideas, any Halloween theme ideas, make sure you guys comment it down below and I'll get back to you guys and I'll try to upload those videos. If you have any challenge videos, pranks, ideas, let me know and I will gladly try to do them. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Make sure to give it a huge thumbs up. Make sure you guys subscribe down below. We're almost at 600 subscribers. And I'm going to be doing a giveaway soon once I hit 600 subscribers. So stay tuned for that. It's something I've never done, but I'm going to be trying to do it. So stay tuned when I hit 600 subscribers. Make sure you guys subscribe. Subscribe down below. And until next time, I'm out.